Splash. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willy? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willy to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, why don't Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Way! Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. It's only my toy spider! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. When I was little, I wanted to play the piano. So Mummy took me for a piano lesson. The piano lesson was in a big music school where lots of people learned music. My piano teacher was Mr Tonka. When Mr Tonka played his piano, he played all the notes together very fast. Now, do you want to learn to play the piano? 
Yes, I said. So, so Mr. Tonka showed me low all low. the notes. The low note. Well done. The middle note. This one. Yeah. And the high note. That one. Yeah. That one. Well done. I played all the notes together, like Mr. Tonka. Okay. Why don't you come back next week and we can learn about the going up notes and the going down notes. We'll look forward to that, Mr Tonka. Come okay. On, Tonka. See you next week. Bye. bye bye. And my next piano lesson, Mr Tonka was in his tiny room playing one of his pianos. How are you doing? I've written some notes on a page. Mr. Tonka had written me some music dots. The music dots went up and down. Let's see if we can play a scale. Now. Want to try that? I play the notes up like the dots. That's great. I, I didn't want to play the notes one by one anymore. I played the notes all together like Mr. Tonka. Take this next again. time, next week, to Mr. Tonka, to we'll get the notes named. These notes. When I went for my piano lesson again, Mr. Tonka was very excited. Hello, come and sit oh, down. Oh. Look what I've been doing for you. He had pictures for the notes. An apple, a ball, a cat. See if you can play the apple note. Play me the apple notes, said Mr. Tonka. I didn't want to play the apple notes. I played all the notes, like Mr. Tonka. I've just got to go. Mr. Tonka left. Dick, you have to listen to what Mr. Tonka asks you to do. I know how to do the piano. No, I said. I want to play all the notes together. I played some more, but the notes didn't sound quite right. Hey, Tig. Whee! It might be fun playing all the notes together, but some notes don't sound nice together. Some notes sound better by themselves. If you play each note by itself, you can play a tune. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. When Mr Tonka plays the piano, it might look like he's playing all the notes. But Mr Tonka plays only the notes he needs. Mr Tonka listened to his teacher and learnt what notes to play. Go for it, Tig! Whee! Listen to Mr Tonka and learn how to play the piano. Yes, I thought. I want to learn to play the piano. So I'll listen to Mr Tonka and do what he tells me. When Mr Tonka came back, he told me how to play a tune. We played the tune together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boing! Ah! Hello, little spider. I like Mr. Tonka teaching me. I like going to my piano lessons. I love Willy. We Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willie came too. Hello. Hello. I love my granny. Come on, let's go. What will we have? We'll have some tea, will we? Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take care of Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You better When go. Daddy left, I had my granny to myself. I'll see you later. I like having Tig here. 
Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a mud pie, it's a mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. That's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said, that was Great Grandad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. <laughs> Take, I darling, I love you too. <laughs> can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. We've been guessing to Willy. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Willy liked going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shuggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy liked our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, 
Shaggy played sliding doors. Thank you. We played subway trains all the way to the station. Okay, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me and Angel were having now, fun. Then Mummy stopped us. She no stood between play. us, okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on, said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey, Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey, Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. We I liked big loud noises. Willie liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, then, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Put them here. I never seen okay. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. I liked the noises. It was exciting. Did you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, hey, loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. Let's see. We took Let's see turns to roll Let's the ball see. and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. 
We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willie. Hey, Teague, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball! And... Clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! Hooray! So go for it, Tig! See how loud the next bang will be! Yes, I thought! Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs! You okay, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And I, I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. Cheering. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peek-a-boo. peek a -boo. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. Whee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Tig, that's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. 
Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a chance. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Wooly. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Sig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo woo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Hello there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. <coughs> Through the country. Chip, chip, chip. Under the bridge. Chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Please. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever! Ooh, up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch. Before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Right. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. So, no, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin, maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey! 
And there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You are happy again. Oh, there we have tickets. I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie.